zero utopias. Resentment, envy, and hunger for that matter, are not satiated by the downfall of the old regime. When the hunger people have is, no you bread, idiot. they eat the rich. And when the rich are gone, they eat each other. And because of the proximity effect, envy may actually increase after the revolution. You may actually be more envious of a favored comrade, a successful citoyen, oui, a kulak, oh my god! of the aristocrats. Are you fucking more paranoid? Oh my f god. Yeah, it, it, yeah, I don't, I don't even like. This is just like, honestly, like really pissing me off. I don't understand what the point of this is. I know. <laughs> well, her name is. She's named after Nicaraguan Death Squad, so we know what her point is. It's to be counter revolutionary. I mean, I'm just gonna call her Contra from now on, like the Contra. I did a TikTok where this guy's like, my grandma had only a cow. Were they rich in Tsarist? I'm like, yes, because you were probably, because in Tsarist Russia, if you looked up the statistics, they were not a fertile land. So they couldn't eat, cows eat up too much stuff like that humans need. So you only had maybe like a handful. I, my show is called Late Nights with Lenin. Come and join me. If you do not read Lenin, like do not follow me. Like seriously, like I get really annoyed by people who don't read Lenin. Um, <laughs> So in order for you to eat in your own land, you need to be able to till the whole, whole land and the human. Like if your if your grandmommy or whatever in, in in Russia owned a cow, like, uh, yeah, you pretty much ran the whole show. Oh, right? God, like, hold on. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm micro uh, because Americans are stupid and brainwashed. We have to go through them step by step by step because they're like actually like cows. <laughs> Okay, you know, in because that cow, because that cow could pull a plow. Exactly, There's and you cannot pull. A, so you can't actually cultivate your land without the cow. So then, what happens is that give me corvée labor. So in order for me to lend you this cow for a day, you're gonna have to be my slave. For the next six weeks because you are a serf who has nothing you don't even own the clothes on your back so then you give him six weeks but those six weeks you're not growing your own land and the labor is so needed and it's so kind of shorted that at the end you're only cultivating your landlord's land and then your land is not going to be there and you don't have any food so then you go back to the landlord kulak and say hey kulak i don't have any food to feed my children and he's going to be like yeah Here's food, but the interest will be one third of the grain. And then, oh, wait, you don't have any grain. Okay. The interest will be eight weeks of corvée labor the next year. And then within two years, you're giving more than 365 days worth of corvée labor. And that is what the kulak is. It's not envy. It's the kulak enslaving you. You <laughs> counter-revolutionary comment. <laughs>